Hey y'all, this will be the second one of these I've tried to do today. <laughs> it is Wednesday, December 6th, 2023. Saw something today that just frosted my cookies. I'm so mad. What I saw today was house bill or house resolution or whatever it is. That makes being anti-Zionist the same as being anti-Semitic. You know who put that into, into the writing, right? The colonizer. Oh, anyway. So, yeah. The last one I did of these was more of a speech than anything else. I always were knitting and talking. You know me. I chatter. So, let's just breathe. The world's gone nuts. Hopefully we can bring a little bit of sanity back to it. I was talking about... The last one was talking about healing trauma. <clears throat> and the things we have to do, have to, do to heal trauma. And one of the first things we have to do is admit, their tra admit there's trauma to start with. And in the Americas, we ain't so great at that. Because if we admit there's trauma to start with, then that means the whole ball of wax is going to fall apart. No, no it's not. No it's not. Because healing is part of growth. And we've hit that wall. We've hit that ceiling where we have to rip open our wounds and clean them out. Expose them. Our scars. I was watching the Facebook Reels this morning. And somebody said something about... <clears throat> America won't heal its trauma. Because healing its trauma is admitting that it messed up. Isn't that part of being an adult? Admitting when you make a mistake. Does that mean that America is still in its adolescence? Shouldn't we have grown past this by now? I don't know. Just a thought. So just breathe with me, y'all. Just in and out. Let all the pain and hurt go. Let it all go. It don't belong to you. Don't take it on board.
Let it all go. Let it all out. Just breathe. One foot in front of the other. Keep moving forward. Keep making progress. Just like I told you, Dr. King said. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. what this country is sorely lacked. The ability to just keep moving. Just keep swimming. I'm currently drowning in trauma. Refusing to acknowledge it. And lashing out at others. Because they see it. No, you're not allowed to see our trauma. No, you're not allowed to fix it. Mm. That's where the America is. That's where the U.S. is wrong. We have to fix it to move forward. We have to be compassionate. We have to learn from our mistakes. You can't just say my bad and go on and do it again. You have to change the behavior. And sometimes change is scary. Change is tough. But we're better for it in the end. Just breathe. One step at a time, one stitch at a time. We got this. There's something about courage. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is realizing that there's something more important. I think that the American people are courageous. We can stand together as one in the face of fear in the face of change and not be afraid of it. Especially if it's something that we actually need. The American people are resilient. The human spirit is resilient. We are not free until all people are free. And 
until the least of us are free, we are not free. It's just row, and I think we're going to wrap up today. Gosh darn it. What's going on now? Oh, I just got rolled over. Okay. My yarn ball got rolled up over the over my chair and didn't want to move no more. Don't worry about that. I got a vase that I made out of ten, out of out of a tin can. The kids colored some coffee filter flowers for me. Plus they busted my big green vase that was on my coffee table. They had a big green ceramic vase on my coffee table. And my eldest son, in the middle of a temper tantrum, pushed it off and then flipped the coffee table over and it smashed all over the floor. Yes, that was fun. No. Oh, speaking of busted ceramics... I've got a nifty little life hack for y'all. 
you break your ceramics, use clear fingernail polish to put it back together. Let it get tacky and then stick it back together. It's not waterproof, but it'll work. You may have to reapply it a couple times. Also, ladies, if you don't have super glue, but you have nail glue, like for fake nails, it'll work too. And it's easier to get apart than super glue if you accidentally get some on you. Still gonna hurt like hell though. Just breathe. In and out. Let it all go. Don't belong to you. Don't take it on board. We can do this. So yeah. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is knowing that other things are more important than the fear. I'm at 17 and a half minutes. So. Yes, I have holes in my shirt. <laughs> it's a comfy old shirt. <clears throat> yep. It's falling apart. Um. So, yeah. That's been today's Stitch and Breathe. <sighs> Sorry about that. I love y'all. Tell your babies you love them. Hug them tight. Tell your weird friends and relatives that you love them. No matter whether they have two legs or four or fins or feathers or whatever. Yep. Because the world has gone nuts. And it's up to us to fix it. So try not to strangle straight. To strangle people. Because that's frowned on on whatever culture you're with. Don't strangle people. It's kind of a gimme. <laughs> anyway, y'all, much love, huge hugs, happy knitting, bye-bye.